Right before quarantine, my owners built this beautiful brand new townhouse to move into. COVID hits, and like a lot of people here on the Upper East Side, they've made the decision to sell their house. This outdoor space is amazing. That's your trophy Let's moment. Let's sell this. Not so fast. Okay. This isn't a house in Brooklyn, like you've sold a thousand of, or the Upper right. West Side, like you've sold a hundred of. Like, right. this is Upper East Side, it's very different. And so I want Fine. you to sell me this house. Okay, now? <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob. Hey, Bob. How big is it? Uh, 5,100 square feet. How many bedrooms and baths? Five beds and five and a half baths. How wide is it? It's just under 20 feet wide. Yeah, my wives are, um, oh. I have multiple wives. We need space. Were you in quarantine with them all? Is that sort of? Yeah. They give me a hard time. They give me a run for my money, you know? OK. They're... These doors accordion open, so, so as cool. your three wives are cooking, they can How come those don't open? So we just have those closed right now. We just wanted easier access for you to get through just the. But they will open. The... For you, Bob, everything will be working. All right, so welcome inside. These are 20 foot ceilings. Is this pet friendly? Yes, it's a townhouse. You can do what you want. I have a lot of reptiles. Well, there you go. I love this kitchen. This is like my favorite kitchen ever. You have panda marble over here on both sides Huge. of the kitchen. Yes stuck with the black and white theme. Everything is very clean. You have your massive refrigerator here for all of your guests. I don't have guests, I don't like people. Well, then for you and your wives. But I do kids. drink a significant amount of alcohol, so that's good here. Perfect. Up here we have sort of like the receiving room. We're southern facing, so on a bright sunny day, you get really nice sunlight. And then here you go, Bob, for all of your drinks oh, that you want. All of my want. drinking. You might what be is this? This is turtle marble. Oh, I see there. You have great ceiling height. This is probably a room where your kids can hang out here, which overlooks the dining area. Look at these ceilings. This is amazing. Wait, can you see me? No, I'm scared to, I'm scared to lean over. Wait, high five. We're Virtually to socially apart. distance high five. Yeah. Isn't this cool? Is that you, Tim? That's me. Steve Gold, how are you? This place is incredible. The whole driveway from the road is her property? Yes. Unbelievable. Anyways, it's great to meet you. I spoke to Cornelia on the way up. She gave me a little background in that you know everything about the property and can show me around. I'm the property manager. That's what I do. <laughs> if you're comfortable, as long as we're outside, we can take the mask off. I'm fine with that. 456 acres. I think we could make sure we're six feet apart, <laughs> we'll, right? We'll be all right. All right, well, show me around. This is incredible, look at this view. The Hudson Valley was the escape for wealthy New Yorkers before the Hamptons existed. Prominent New York families like the Vanderbilts, the Rockefellers, they had massive estates to vacation and spend time away from busy New York City. This is a marshland here, wetland. Mm -hmm. That's so, a state so no protected. One would, no one could build there. That's protected. Yeah. Till this day, the Hudson Valley still has this amazing cachet, but flies under the radar. Here's the barn. Uh, there's six stalls, the hayloft is upstairs. Hi, horses! <laughs> How many animals are on the property? We have run about 35 animals, and they're all rescue animals. We've saved them, nursed them back to health, and uh, adopt them out if we can. That's so great. Hello! I'm gonna call this one Frederick, that one Ryan, that's gonna be Tyler. Little donkeys. Can we kiss him? Can we kiss And here is where Socrates lives. Want a little strawberry? Oh my god! He's been with us about 10 years now. He's a saccata turtle, African tortoise. You got your fruits and your veggies? These are our ducks, we have chickens. We'll take the buggy out maybe, I'll take you around the property, we can see the stream. Can I drive? Okay. Go straight ahead. Uh-oh. Scared? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Hey, it's so nice to finally meet you in person. Thanks for having me over. You look amazing. Thanks, just this, this little thing. <laughs> just this little thing. Whitney reached out to me over quarantine because she needs help selling her home and we really bonded. Whitney's originally from Charleston and that totally makes sense to me. Like she's got this beautiful Southern like pizzazz and flair and I think that's why we get along so well. We're both debutantes in New York City. In terms of masks, before we get started, how do you feel? Should we keep our distance? Are you- I'm totally you know, comfortable taking this off because I just got tested. I, I also just got tested, right, so. very okay. good. 
Nice to see your face. Nice to see your face. Oh my God, you have such a pretty smile. I mean, we had a lot of emails during quarantine. You're not what I expected at all. Did you think I was like 80 years old? I didn't think you were 80 years old, but I thought you might have little old lady taste. When Whitney was describing her apartment to me over the phone, she kept using the word bold. She was like, we went really bold with our design. I really think you're gonna like our bold choices that we made. And now that I'm here in the apartment, I see she meant bold. Why don't you give me Absolutely. a grand tour? As soon as I walked in, I actually felt like I was in like a, a really glamorous Palm Beach home that Absolutely. somehow found itself on the Upper West Side. Like Granny Chic, I totally Chic. embody that. Classic yeah. Hollywood is the brand. We're it not is. gonna call it Granny Chic. You did this design, right? Well, I did, I worked with a designer, but this totally is my aesthetic. She loves bold. Firstly, I mean, this has like been catching my eye the whole time that we've been here. So this is a St. Louis for Hermes chandelier. It's stunning. It's definitely, it's bringing up the price in the home for sure. Yeah, it's, it's definitely like a small car. It's a small car? Oh, is that how much it costs? Yeah. Are we talking like a Mazda or a Porsche? Well, I'm gonna go with more like a, like a Mini Cooper. Oh, okay, attainable. <laughs> attainable, exactly. Attainable, attainable. It's, not, it's not totally out there. 